All right, legends, welcome back. So in the last video, we learned how to detach our audio and play around with it a little bit. In this video, we're gonna learn how to zoom in and zoom out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on a highlight. This is my sad but true face, um, but don't focus on that. So what I'm gonna do is by default, go up here and click on our little crop tool. By default, it's click to fit. We can crop it right here, and then you could just move that around, crop in and out. Um, but what I want to do is I want to zoom in. So click on Ken Burns. Now with Ken Burns, there's a starting place and an ending place. What I want to do is I want to start with the video not cropped at all. You can move the start around this way if you want to crop it, but I don't want to. I want to start it at the 1280 by 720, what this video is. So right here, we'll click start. That's fine. And then for end, we'll click, I just click on end and then let's go ahead and we can move it to the top, right? We can move this around. Is there something specific in the room we want to zoom in on? How about that blazer over there? So now what I'm going to do is click on my timeline and let's go ahead and backtrack the timeline a little bit. All right, what's up guys? It's CH. All right, what's up guys? All right, what's up guys? It's CH from Bruising Bit. Proud to welcome you to this week's video tutorial series on all... All right, I probably should have killed the audio. I'm sorry about that. Um, if you want to zoom out, just click on the same clip. See, it's... We know it's been highlighted because it's got the yellow border. And let's go ahead and go to fit. And to zoom out, click on Ken Burns and then just click on this little icon right here and it goes from end to start. So we'll start here and now we'll end here. So let's go ahead and click on it and it'll all grain brewing. This see it zooming out. Series? God, that's an awkward clip. So that's really it. Ken Burns, and then just play around with your start and your end. And if you want to move it around the room, something specific, maybe some corner, if you just want to zoom in on the center of uh, what's in the foreground, that's how we do it. All right, guys, good luck with this. If you guys have any questions, please post them in the comment section below. Good luck, and we'll see you in the next video.